everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be cleaning Rosebud's terrarium. Um, if you're new here and you don't know who Rosebud is, she is my pet tarantula. I have had her for about seven years now. And if you're afraid of spiders, I suggest that you click out of this video right now. I bought Rosebud at an exotic pet store around where I live. Rosebud is a Chilean rosehair tarantula and they can be found in Chile, Bolivia, and Argentina. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you the before of her terrarium, just so you can see what it looks like before I clean it. So this is what her terrarium looks like before the cleaning. Um, I'm going to take her out in one second and then take everything else out to start cleaning everything. Yeah, you're excited, eh? <laughs> Uh, it's been around six months, so it is definitely time to clean. Okay, so I have Rosebud on the counter right now. Uh, I don't think she's too happy, but... Just so I can clean her cage, I just put her in this little container for now. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna take her out after I finish everything and show you guys a little more like an up close of her. Okay, so if you're thinking of buying your own tarantula as a pet, what you're gonna need is a 10 gallon tank um, it's also a good thing to get a temperature gauge. They like it between 70 and 80 degrees. I also put a humidity gauge inside of the tank on the far side um, just to see how dry and humid it is. You're also going to want to get a water dish, some decoration, and uh, somewhere that they can hide. They usually like to hide during the day because they are nocturnal. Okay, another thing that you're gonna need is something for the base. I buy the coconut fiber. Um, I think you can also use soil. Um, just do your research, but I've always used coconut fiber and this is what I was recommended. So today I'm gonna to be using this and I'm gonna do something different today. I've never done this before, but I'm going to take her half log and bury it kind of so like there's only going to be like the tunnel here everything else is going to be covered even the back so she can go and hide in there and it'll be super dark for during the day i think she's really gonna like it so let's get into it so the first thing i'm going to do is put a, a thin layer on the bottom and then even that out Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is putting this in the corner and then I'm going to slowly like gradually start covering it and I don't know how this is going to go but I'm hoping it turns out really nice. Um, so yeah, let's try it. So this is what it looks like so far. I'm going to keep going and keep building it up and I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay, so I'm done doing her log, but I think it looks really, really good. I think she's gonna really love that. Um, but now I'm gonna add her water dish and all the decorations. looks like I think it's perfect I think she's really gonna like it especially the log um, I think she's gonna like how dark it is now um, but yeah I'm gonna take her out now and show you guys so this is Rosebud I'm trying to get her out right now okay you guys so this is Rosebud Um, she is around seven years old and she can live up to 25 years old Which is a long time, but I'm really happy about that because she'll be around for a long time 
Um, I just love her so much. She's so pretty. They call them rose hair tarantulas because in the light you can see a pink hue on their body, which is really cute and it's my favorite color. When I went to the pet store, I fell in love with her right away. She was so cute. She was a little bit smaller than this. I would say like a couple sizes smaller than this. So now I'm just gonna show you some close-ups of her. Um, she is still venomous, but they are really docile and they won't bite just for nothing. She is as big as my hand. Um, a lot of people don't like that, but I think that is so cute and like all her little hairs are like super fluffy. I know. Um, but yeah, I think now I'm going to put her back into her terrarium so she can be happy. I don't want to stress her out too much. Yeah, okay. So this is the final setup. She seems really happy. Um, she tends to climb the glass every time I clean her terrarium, so I'm gonna put the lid on very soon. But this is what everything looks like. She's gonna go look around. Oh my god, so cute. So, so cute. Okay guys, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I think Rosebud is really enjoying her new terrarium already. She's just up in the corner. But yeah, if you have any questions about chili and rose hair, tarantulas, Rosebud, or how to get started, um, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll answer them for you. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!